Hello again, I'm Raida Wust and in this brief video we are ready to visit our construction site. In my previous videos we actually did two different types of uh, drone flight programs. We used our drones controller to make one, but we also did a export uh, from our project drawing as a KML file. And based on this KML file we also created one drone flight program. Anyway, now it's time to check our hardware. Uh, mainly we should check that uh, we do have our SD card inserted into our drone and also we should have enough uh, space in here. Obviously we should charge our batteries and we also need to check that we do have enough uh, battery power to carry out our drone flight program. We are visiting 2 plus 2 new highway which is not yet opened for traffic but soon it will be. So let's go. Before you actually start your drone mission, you have to ensure that you hold all needed permissions to do that, including drone special permit in some restricted areas, which is usually taken care of by your local transport agency. Also, you need to follow all safety rules and put nobody into danger while flying your drone. Sometimes it may take time to reach to your final destination, in where you want to carry out your drone mission, so, it may become human a sport activity in itself. To assemble your drone is quite easy. Propellers, then the controller, and ready to go. We are now at our construction site. Uh, it's a new 2 plus 2 highway and it shortens the distance uh, in between Tallinn and Tartu. The new highway today, is, which will be open soon, is about um, 20 kilometers, but it will be longer. Uh, there will be new addition as well in coming years. Um, and uh, this highway starts uh, from that direction. Uh, we also fly our drone to that direction. So it starts about uh, two kilometers away from here. And uh, our drone program is uh, made as such that we fly about 1.3 kilometers to that direction. We cover the whole width of our road, uh, so it means that we fly our drone multiple times and we come from left to right. Doing uh, that, we then um, have data from top to down and uh, we can cover, for example, uh, road marking by doing it and see what else we can do with that data afterwards. So, um, let's turn our attention to uh, our joystick and see how we can uh, start our um, flight program. To start a drone, I first select Fly, then picking up a flight program which has been previously made. Drone will do a quick self-check and now I can start the mission itself. Flight data is carried over into a drone and then drone starts its first service cycle. Our drone is coming back from its first survey round trip, 2 times 1.3 kilometers, and as predicted, our battery should be changed soon. So that is why we can hear a beeping sound. We probably have some minutes left before we have to change the battery. But let's zoom onto a drone as well. Here it is. Let's change then the battery. Once the drone starts again and also RTK is activated, we can continue our mission. So far we have surveyed 30% of our mission, starting up or continuing the mission, Start. and the work continues.
and preparing for a third factory. So our drone is about 1.2 km away. It's just uh, started to come back. And uh, if you have good eyes, then you can actually notice this white tot. But uh, as we are making film about it, then probably even if we want to zoom in afterwards in this video, we can't see it. Hmm. But the road seems to be opened for some additional spot. And now our final battery change. We have inserted our final fourth battery and we have just one straight line to cover, 1.3 kilometers. And then from that end the drone flies back at the elevation of 50 meters, which has been set up as its usual home run elevation. Our drone flies around 8 km per hour and has covered about half of its distance. Once the drone reaches into its mission endpoint, you can see a yellow dot as well final line to cover, or if a battery should be changed, then the drone raises up into elevation of 50 meters and does its home run, which we have seen previously as well. About 400 meters to go and then home run starts. Operation complete. Our mission is finished, drone flies up to the elevation of 50 meters and starts its home run. Our covered area, as we can see, is about 75,000 square meters. Currently we can see a home run at flight elevation of 50 meters, but if we have done it at elevation of 30 meters, and as you can see the drone flies back in straight line, straightening up the small road curvature, then a tree or two could be fatal for our drone. This is mainly due to a much higher speed that the drone flies while doing a home run or reaching to its service start point and drone sensors could miss those trees in windy conditions. Our mission is successfully completed. We still have some minutes left, like uh, 10 minutes of our battery, just as planned, because uh, as you remember, uh, our mission was intended to last 70 minutes, and we used uh, four batteries, and our last battery is halfway through. So, what's next? Of course, let's pack it all up and let's go to office and see how we can get the data from the drone and uh, what we can do with that data. In the next episode, we take a look what we can do with those drone images we have taken. It is clear that before we go to carry out our drone mission, we do that having some specific use case in mind. But in general, that gathered data can be used in different ways. It could be a simple image analysis that has been taken at different times, days, weeks. Or we can build up a 3D model using photogrammetry as a mesh model or point cloud. All those methods do have their own specific advantage, and it is not about visualizing only, but also considering some measurement accuracy that our drones can give today, but all that in our future episodes. If you got excited to see my next episode, please do subscribe to my channel, and you get notifications once I upload a new video. Bye bye.